Hi, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Bloom and Glow, Grow, which is available to you on the 4th of June. And in this stamp I used that image and a couple of leaves. So that you can see them because they're so small. That one. And the sentiment come from humming along and it's wishing you an amazing birthday. This set is retiring, but I'm still going to use it because I do like that sentiment. Right, for the card I used um, a white base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. Furnish it now. And um, two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and also some scraps. So to get started, I have already embossed the background using this embossing folder by Dar Daris. So I have already embossed that. And I have already cut coloured the flowers, but I will do another set. That'll come in handy for something else. So, to get started, we will stamp our images. I have my big flower here, and take the stamp to the flower, or the ink to the flower, should I say. And stamp it down. There we are, lovely. Get the ink for that. Then what else do we need? Oh, we need two leaves. So put one there and one there. And we also need the sentiment. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle. I think I've done this on the wrong piece of paper. Let's see. I'm also using the Label Me Pretty Punch. I don't think that's what it's called. And I'm going to get that in there. Let's straighten it up. Even it up. There's the sentiment. Well done. In the bin. Alright, don't need that anymore. Did I do anything inside? I oh, I did. Look. So, we need one of these. bit of scrap and the ink again and then just stamp this that up, get rid of them, get rid of that, move that, 
Right, we're gonna colour these in. So for the leaves, I used dark soft sea foam. I can actually use the big end on this. Like I said, I've already um, coloured and cut these out. But it won't go, it won't go wrong. Sure, I'll use them on something. Right, so the leaves cut in. Then I got some light mossy meadow and I coloured in the base of the leaves. Just the base. And the same on here. Some, yeah. Right then. For the flowers, I used dark petal pink and just coloured them in. Try not to miss any petals because the some that actually look like leaves. As you can see, I'm not going, being too gentle with this, I'm just Colouring them in. Then I got some light calypso coral and just brushed out a bit on the from the center like halfway up each petal
This is the longest bit of this card, is these colouring in all your flowers. Right. Then I got dark Calypso coral. And then just gently went round the edge of the stamens. And just left a little... I just touched it with the nib of the pen. And then with, I didn't get it out, hang on, Daffodil Delight, I know the middle. Then with rich raspberry light, I coloured in balls or bubbles or I don't know buds. And there we have that flower coloured in. And then I cut them out using the dies. And I use this die for the leaf, leaves, the two leaves. And then this die for the flower arrangement. And that's how I got this and the leaves. Where's the second one? Oh dear, I've lost one. Mm. Disappeared. It's alright, I have got some more cut out. Because I cut about ten of them. Thinking I was going to do something else with the card. And... I didn't. It will show up. Oh look, there it is. Right. So, with our car base and our emboss bit, we'll stick that on the card. With this embossing folder, there isn't a wrong or a right way. It embosses both sides with the same pattern. Uh, put a lid on that. Right, these, oh no. What I did with this, I stuck these two leaves, which I can't pick up. I put one above there and one on the bottom of the, I call them a bubble. So, did that and, is that one like that? And, is that one like that? That's what I did with them. And then I put dimensionals on them all. So put a big one there. But, uh, and 
then we'll use some little ones on this. I don't want it sagging or flapping about. On there. On there. I think I did. On there. Right, this one. Leaf. I know you're going to say you're yeah, using too much, too many dimensions. You can use as many as you like. So that will sit there, and this will sit about there. So I'm going to stick this on first. Stick this in the middle of the card like that. In fact, I should have slapped it over a little bit. Let's see if I can rescue it. Yeah, in the middle to the left, uh, right, looking at it. And then put that on. That's better. So let's take all these backs off. that did was add some gems. Oh, I haven't done the inside. We'll do that in a minute. So, one, two, three. Well, they're not straight at all. That's better. So let's quickly colour the inside in. Um, Later with the top of it chopped off. Dark, what 
else's one? Petal pink. Oh dear. I've got to silence my phone. and get that. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's about my granddaughter. Now I'm using the dark clips of coral and put that round the edges. Yeah, I'm trying to listen to him talking about my granddaughter, but yeah. I shouldn't really. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to throw a hard time. Yeah. Mm, baby's fine though. He's yeah. eaten. Six weeks early. They weighed five pounds five ounces. Tiny. But he's alright, that's the main thing. And just do the yellow. And there we are. And we'll stick that inside our card. Is our granddaughter living up in Scotland? We can't go and visit her. Just, you know, can't drop a hat and drop everything, go visit her. Especially when Ryanair stopped doing flights to Scotland. Right, there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe um, and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.